Welcome to the Clark County School District's Junior Varsity Quiz Championship. You know, JVQ is a knowledge-based quiz bowl competition for middle school, junior high school students, the best and the brightest of Clark County's middle school students. Matching wits today for the title, Junior Varsity Quiz Champion. Now, there were 34 middle school and junior high school teams that competed in a one-day tournament where these two teams competed in, a separate, in four separate JVQ matches, earning their place in this championship. So the winner of tonight's match, they will be the 2016-17 Junior Varsity Quiz Champion. Now, a reminder to the students, when you're answering a question, the microphones will hear you for the recording, but we want you to speak loudly and clearly so the judges on the other side of the studio can hear you. Let's go ahead and meet our players. First, for Levitt Middle School, we have 8th grader Cole Freer. Hi, Cole. Hi. Glad to see you. 8th grader Alex Bean. Hi, Hi Alex. Here is 8th grader Maxwell Workman. Hello. Hey, Maxwell and eighth grader Chloe Day. Hi, Chloe. Hi. So that's the team from Levitt Middle School. Let's go ahead and meet our players now from Dell Webb Middle School, starting with eighth grader Xavier Paul. Hi, Xavier. Hi. Eighth grader Will Dewey. Hello. Hi, Will. Uh, eighth grader Josh Hettinger. Hi. Hey, Josh. And eighth grader Caleb Fears. That's the team from Dell Webb. Now we're gonna get to know more about these young men and women after we get right into Junior Varsity Quiz with this question. Popocatepetl and Vulcan de Colima are both volcanoes located in what country? And that is gonna be Del Webb, uh, Xavier. Mexico. That is correct. Next question. The parathyroid gland secretes hormones necessary for the metabolism of phosphorus and what other mineral necessary for proper bone development? And that is Del Webb, Josh. Calcium. Yes. Next question is a math question. How many Olympics were held from 776 BC through 760 BC? Repeating, how many Olympics? And that'll be uh, Del Webb, Josh. Five. That is correct. Next question. The two most prominent colonists expelled by Puritan leaders from the Massachusetts Bay Colony were Anne Hutchinson and who else? Uh, Webb, Josh. William Penn. That's incorrect. Uh, time, we were looking for Roger Williams. Next question. What condition, often synonymous with chaos or disorder, is marked by the absence of governing forces? And that'll be uh, Levitt, Maxwell. Anarchy. Yes. Shortly after the ratification of the U.S. Constitution in 1788, Congress voted to establish the temporary seat of the new U.S. government in what city? Uh, Levitt, Maxwell. Philadelphia. Incorrect. Uh, Webb, Josh. Washington, D.C. Incorrect. The answer, New York. Next question. What structures on an airplane cause the plane to lose altitude when they are lowered or to, and that will be Webb, Will? Flaps. Incorrect. Or to gain altitude when they are raised. Levitt, Maxwell. Air loins. No, we were looking for elevators. Next question. Who was the American president at the time of the Russian Revolution of 1905? Uh, Levitt, Maxwell? I don't know. No. That's a no answer, so we'll go to uh, Webb, Josh. Calvin Coolidge? Incorrect. Theodore Roosevelt, the correct answer. Next question. What flower does Juliet reference when she says a blank by any other name would... And that will be Webb, Josh. Rose? Yes. Set during the early days of the American Revolution, what novel ends with a doctor repairing the protagonist's hand that had been badly burned by molten silver so he can take up the musket. And we will go with uh, Webb, Xavier. Johnny Tremaine. Yes. What country has its judicial capital in Bloemfontein? And that'll be Webb, Josh. South Africa. Yes. In the fifth century, Bleda and his more famous brother led a nomadic people called the Huns in several invasions uh, Webb, Josh. Attila. Yes. In 2016, the Egypt Air passenger jet that went down in the Mediterranean had taken off from Paris and was headed to what? North African capital city. And that is uh, Levitt and Cole. 
Cairo? Yes. Vulcanization increases the strength and flexibility of what? A web, Josh? Rubber. Yes. What branch of American government includes the U.S. Court of Appeals? A web, Josh? The judicial branch? Yes. What characteristic of a substance is directly related to the motion of the molecules within it? Web, Josh? Temperature. Yes. Remin reminiscent of action taken to keep a boat from sinking, what is the idiom for the rescue? Uh, web, Josh? Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Incorrect. What is the idiom for the rescue of a company that has serious financial problems? Levitt, Maxwell. Bailing out. Judge, may we accept bailing out? Yes, that is correct. Next question, Robert Scott. Oh, we need to clear. Robert Scott, Richard Byrd, and Roald Amundsen explored what continent? Webb, Josh. Antarctica. Yes. Recently, Cheerios has given away 1.5 billion wildflower seeds as part of a campaign to increase the global population. And that is uh, Webb, Will? Bees. Yes. Name the largest desert that is entirely within geographic region known as the Middle East. Webb, Josh. Nuru Balkali. Incorrect. Time, we were looking for the Arabian Desert. Next question's a math question. If the pedal gear on a bicycle has 60 teeth and the gear on the driven wheel has 30 teeth, how many times will the driver gear rotate each time the pedal gear rotates? Webb, Josh. Half. Incorrect. Repeating, if the pedal gear on a bicycle has 60 teeth, the gear on the driven wheel has 30 teeth, how many times will the driver gear rotate each time the pedal gear rotates once? I uh, love it, Maxwell. Ice. Yes. What verb begins the famous battle cries from both the Spanish-American War and the Texas? And that'll be Levitt, Maxwell. Remember. Yes, as in remember the Maine or remember the Alamo. Now, according to Greek myth, artists, poets, singers, writers are inspired by what daughters of... And that'll be Levitt, Maxwell. The muses. Yes. How many syllables are in the last prepositional phrase of the Pledge of Allegiance? Two. Next question. Longitude measures, longitude measures vary from zero degrees to how many degrees? And that'll be uh, Webb, Josh? 180. Yes. Now that's the end of round one. We're going to find out a little bit more about our players now, and we'll start with Levitt and eighth grader Cole Freer. Hey, Cole, you having some fun? Yeah. I wanted to ask you about uh, something it says you would like to see on your little biography card. Do you remember what you wrote? No. It says you want to see a, a Broadway musical. Oh, yeah. Which one? Hamilton. Yeah. Supposedly it's coming to the Smith Center, so will that work for you? Yeah. Excellent. Well, good luck. Hope you go see it, and good luck with the JVQ here. Eighth grader Alex Bean. Hey, Alex. Hi, Nate. Um, on your biography card, it says that you actually like a subject in school that most students don't. Math. See? Good luck with that. <laughs> and good luck here on JVQ. Eighth grader Maxwell Workman. Hey, Maxwell. Hello. Now, how many siblings do you have, Maxwell? Seven. And what's the mix of boys to girls? Uh, six boys, including me, two girls. And where do you fall in I'm the, the order? Oldest. You're the oldest? Yep. Excellent. Well, good luck with the rest of your family. Good luck here on Junior Varsity Quiz. Here's Chloe Day, an eighth grader from Levitt. Hey, Chloe. Hi. Now, I know something about you that maybe the rest of the folks here don't about why you have been in this studio before. I was a finalist for the Spelling Bee. <laughs> Remember what grade that was? Uh, yeah, it was this year. <laughs> yeah. So did you go to the uh, State B? No, I didn't. I got through a few rounds, but then okay. I dropped out. Well, good luck here on JVQ, and it's great to see you again, Chloe. So that's our team from Levitt Middle School. Let's meet our players now from Del Webb, starting with uh, Xavier Paul. Hey, Xavier. Hi. I want to know what high school you're going to be going to. OVA. And do you know what you're going to be doing when you go there? Um, probably video production. Excellent. Well, congratulations on getting into the LVA. That's awesome. Thank and good you. luck with the rest of uh, Junior Varsity Quiz. Thank Eighth you. grader, Will Dewey. Hey, Will. Hello. You belong to a couple of clubs at school? Yes. Which ones? 
I belong to Archery and JVQ. Okay. We just got second place in the Archery. Excellent. Well, congratulations. And good luck here on the Junior Varsity Quiz. Here is eighth grader Josh Hettinger. Hey, Josh. Hi. Now, you have a, a weird hobby. We actually have a few of them here. Can you tell me one of them that you remember listing? Um, woodworking was one of them. Okay. You also wrote down eating chicken. Oh, <laughs> you know what? That's more of a lifestyle than just a hobby. Oh, okay. Well, good luck with the woodworking and the eating chicken. Thank you, Josh. Here's eighth grader Caleb Pierce. Hey, Caleb. Hello. I understand that you are close to achieving a goal that you've been working on for quite a while. Oh, yeah. Eagle Scout. That's awesome. Yeah. So do you have to, are you in the middle of your final project? Uh, yeah, I'm about to turn in my uh, review thing, so. Excellent. Well, good luck with that. Thank and good you. luck here on Junior Varsity Quiz. That is the team from Dell Webb. Now, round two, that's going to begin after a quick review of the Junior Varsity Quiz rules. Our varsity quiz match consists of three rounds. Each question is worth five points. The first round has 25 toss-up questions. The second round, that's the bonus round, and it is timed. The team correctly answering the toss-up question will have the opportunity to then answer a two-part bonus question worth 10 points. The final round, that's the lightning round. It is also timed. After the first round, here's the score. Levitt has 30 points to Webb's 65. A lot can happen here in our bonus round. Before we get there, we want to introduce some new players. For Levitt, there's eighth grader Andres Romero. Hey, Andres. Hey. Good luck on JVQ. And two new players for Del Webb. Uh, we have Chris Luna. Hey, Chris. Hi. An eighth grader and also eighth grader Devin Arana. Hey, Devin. Hey. So those are our new players. It is time for our bonus round starting now in the Indian in the cupboard. What does the protagonist inherit from his great grandmother that magically gives life to inanimate objects? <phone rings> Levitt Maxwell. A wooden cupboard. Incorrect. <phone rings> uh, Webb, Devin? A magic wand. <laughs> a magic wand is incorrect, and next time speak up a little bit louder so the judges can hear you. The answer was a key. Next question for both teams. Although the British Parliament was mainly responsible for provoking the American Revolution because he was the ruler of the empire, and that is Webb, Josh? George III? Yes, bonus questions now for Webb only. Answer the following associated with the sons of, uh, with the U.S. history. Answer the following associated with U.S. history. First, Samuel Adams and Paul Revere headed the Sons of Liberty in which American colony? Second, the first significant English effort to establish a colony in North America ended in the mysterious failure on what island? All right, so the first one is Massachusetts. All right, so our answers are Massachusetts and Roanoke. Both are correct. You've got bonus points. Now a question for both teams, and it is a math question. A room measures 12 feet by 20 feet. You have 40 tiles each measuring 12 inches on a side. What fraction of the room's floor can be covered with the tiles? Repeating, a room measures 12 feet by 20 feet. You have 40 tiles, each measuring 12 inches on a side. Levitt, Maxwell. One sixth. Yes, bonus questions now for Levitt only. Answer the following math questions. First, multiply 3y plus 8 by 3y minus 8. And second, what's the square root of negative 6 squared? Repeating, answer the following math questions. First, multiply 3y plus 8 by 3y minus 8. Second, what's the square root of negative 6 squared? Captain? Okay, so the first one is 3y squared plus, minus 64, and the second one is 6. The second one is correct. The first answer is actually 9y squared minus 64. So you get some bonus points. You don't get all of them. And this question now for both teams. Whenever Virga occurs, rain is changed from a liquid form to what other state of matter? Uh, Webb, Josh? Solid. Incorrect. And that is Levitt. Alex? Yes. Yes. Bonus questions now for Levitt only. Answer the following science questions. First, 
What term is defined as a person's resistance to disease? Second, what is the most frequently used chemical to kill microscopic living things in water? Okay, we have our answers. Go ahead. The first one is an immunity, and the second one is chlorine. Both are correct. You've got bonus points. Now, th this question for both teams. In the novel, Holes, Sam was the black farmer in Green Lake, Texas, who cultivated what vegetables? And that is Webb, Josh. Onions. Yes, bonus questions now for Webb only. Answer so the following associated with books. First, in The Secret Garden, Mary Lennox lived in what country before a cholera epidemic killed her parents and she moved to England? Second, immortality is the central concept explored in what novel by Natalie Babbitt? Oh, uh, Tuck Everlasting. First one, can I just say France? Yeah. All right, so our answers are France and Tuck Everlasting. Tuck Everlasting is correct. The country is actually India, so you get some bonus points. And this question now for both teams. What is the collective name for those who invaded England in 1066 from a region in France? And that is Levitt, Maxwell. The Normans. Yes, bonus questions now for Levitt only. Answer the following associated with world history. First, in what country was the printing press invented? Second, as legend has it, the history of what great European city can be traced back to a couple of boys and a carnivorous quadruped? Okay, we have our answers. Go ahead. Number one is Germany. Number two is Rome. Both are correct. You've got bonus points. Now this question for both teams. George Washington appointed Alexander Hamilton to what cabinet position? And that is Levitt Cole. Secretary of the Treasury. That is correct. And bonus questions now for Levitt only. Answer the following associated with U.S. presidents. First, what president's name is part of the title of the National Expansion Memorial in St. Louis, Missouri? Second, in 1955, what American president deployed the first U.S. military personnel to South Vietnam? Okay. Captain. Number one, James Monroe. Number two, Lyndon B. Johnson. Both are incorrect. They, it was Jefferson and Eisenhower, so no bonus points. And this question now for both teams. What small mammals are associated with the Pied Piper and uh, Webb, Josh? Rat. Rats. That's correct. <laughs> bonus questions now for Webb only. Answer the following associated with animals. First, what pit viper of the American Southwest leaves J-shaped impressions on the sand over which it travels? Second, what structure on a bird consists of the upper and lower mandible? Beak. All right, so the beak, what's the first one? Sidewinder, I think. Sidewinder? Yeah, I believe so. All right, so our first answer is sidewinder, and the next is the beak. Both are correct, and you've got bonus points. Are we out of time? All right, so uh, before we move on to our third round, we wanted to make sure you know about our junior varsity quiz coaches. Now, these are the teachers that work with the students week in and week out, putting in a lot of time and effort to make Junior Varsity Quiz the success that it is. Let's go ahead and meet our coaches for the championship teams. For Levitt Middle School, we have Maureen Schmidt. For Webb Middle School, Caitlin Bengal. Also, our judges are from the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas and the Clark County School District. The Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas and teachers from around the district also provide judges and moderators for the JVQ tournament. We'll be back with round three. After two rounds, it's gotten a little tighter. Levitt has 75 points to Webb's 105. Truly, in this speed round, a lot can happen. We want to introduce some new players. Uh, Levitt has all of the same players, but for Webb, we have three new players. We'd like you to meet Jacob Lutoskansky. Hi, Jacob. Hello. Also, Vance Davis. Hey, Vance. And Andrew Wilson. Hey, Andrew. Howdy. All eighth graders. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our speed round. What provides the centripetal force for satellites? And that is Webb, Josh. Orbit. Incorrect, for satellites orbiting the Earth. Uh, Levitt, Maxwell. The Earth's gravity. Yes. Who is the personification of freezing weather? Uh, Levitt, Maxwell. Old Man Winter. Incorrect. Uh, Webb, Josh. Jack Frost. Yes. Name the 13th English colony founded in the New World. Levitt, Maxwell. Georgia. Yes. In our solar system, what's the farthest planet from the sun? 
Uh, Webb, Josh? Neptune. Yes. In 2016, it was announced that what woman's portrait will appear on the U.S. $20 bill? Uh, Levitt, Maxwell. Harriet Tubman. Yes. What U.S. national park was named for its formations that are reminiscent of curved masonry structures that span openings? Uh, Webb, Josh? Arches National Park. Yes. What adjective describes a substance that transmits light in a disturbed? Uh, Webb, Josh? Translucent. Yes. What is the first adverb in Pose the Raven? Levitt, Maxwell? Aye. Incorrect. The answer, once. Next question. Name the ability of a substance to dissolve in a solvent. Uh, Webb, Josh? Solubility. Yes. The term jovial is derived from the name of what Roman god? Webb, Josh? That's a no answer. And that'll be uh, Levitt, Cole? Jupiter. Yes. Next question. What kind of structure that was central to Iroquois life was sometimes about the length of a football field? Webb, Josh? A longhouse? Yes. What was the nickname of the South American revolutionary leader after whom the country of Bolivia was named? And that is Levitt, Cole? Simon Bolivar. Incorrect. Webb, Josh? Bob. No, we were looking for his nickname, The Liberator. You were right about the name, but we were looking for the nickname. So we move on to this question. If you found yourself in Japan riding in a small wheeled vehicle that's being pulled along by one person, uh, Webb, Josh? A rickshaw? Yes. What one gas comprises over three quarters of Earth's Webb, Josh? Nitrogen. Yes. Located high in the Himalayas, what landlocked country is the home? Uh, Levitt, Maxwell? Nepal. Yes. What was the background color of the flag of the Soviet Union? Levitt, Maxwell. Red. Yes. In the Harry Potter series, what village founded by the medieval wizard Hengist of Woodcroft is situated northwest of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft? And that'll be Levitt, Alex. Hogsmeade? Yes. The Medulla Oblongata is a major region of what organ? Webb, Josh. The brain. Yes. What seaway connecting the Great Lakes and the Atlantic Ocean? Uh, Webb, Josh. The Erie Canal. Incorrect. Was completed in 1959. Did he get in in time? And so we'll go with Levitt. Alex? The St. Lawrence River. Judge? We cannot accept that. We were looking for the St. Lawrence Seaway, so that is incorrect. Next question. What cinematic musical tells the story of Simba? Webb, Josh. The Lion King? Yes, sir. A jet traveling at 760 miles per hour is going about what? Mach... Webb, Josh. Mach 1? Yes. What word for a kind of folk dance can be spelled by using the first letter of the names of each of the World War II Axis powers? Levitt, Maxwell? A jig? Yes. Any two colors that are directly opposite of each other on the color wheel. Webb, Josh. Complementary. Yes. The native habitat of the giant sequoia is on a certain western slope of, and that is Levitt, Maxwell. California. No, of what mountain range? Webb, Josh. The Sierra Nevadas. Yes. The metallic element rhenium was named after the Latin name for what European river? Levitt, Maxwell. The Rhine? Yes. Cool Runnings was a movie based on which countries? Webb, Josh. Jamaica. Yes. In May of 2016, what NASA vehicle completed its second Martian year since landing? Webb, Josh. The rover? Incorrect. Landing in 2012, and we'll go with Levitt, Cole. Curiosity rover? Yes. A cat will take the breath away from a baby, and... A sailor wearing an earring cannot drown. These are examples of what kind of beliefs? Levitt, Maxwell. Superstitions? Yes. A right triangular prism has how many edges? And that is Webb, Josh. Ten. Incorrect. Levitt, Maxwell. Three. Incorrect. The answer, nine. What kind of teeth are located at the back of the mouth adapted to crushing and grinding food? Uh, uh, Webb, Josh? Molars? Yes. We're out of time. Well, actually, we're out of questions.
So let's find out who won. And the final score, Levitt with 130 points to Webb's 175. Congratulations to both teams. Yeah. And we want to thank both teams. It really was an excellent match, but a special congratulations to the new Junior Varsity Quiz champions from Webb Middle School to present the plaques. We would like to welcome onto the program Howard Naylor from the Kiwanis Club. Howard, take it away. Thank you. Thank you. It's a great pleasure representing the Clark County School District and the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas to present the uh, semi-finalist runner-up clap plaque to Levitt Middle School. Congratulations. Maxwell Workman, great job, man. You had a great team. You guys did great. And the champion to Webb Middle School, congratulations on a real fine match. Both of you did an extremely good job. There we go. Woo! Anything else you want to add? How do we want these kids to play varsity quiz, don't we, when they get to high school? They should go to varsity quiz when they get to high school, join varsity quiz, and when you get to be a graduating senior, you'll be eligible for a $1,000 scholarship. All you have to do is submit your application, and it's a scholarship, $1,000 in your hand for your college. Awesome. So we hope to see you guys on Varsity Quiz. In the meantime, we're grateful to all the folks that make Junior Varsity Quiz a success. We mentioned the coaches, obviously our students, but also all of their teachers and their parents and all the volunteers. And a special thanks to everyone who helps in the administration of Junior Varsity Quiz with the school district, also to the Kiwanis Club and to Vegas PBS. We'll see you next year for the 2018 Junior Varsity Quiz Championship. Good night. Once again, good job, man. I know you're...